there is a strange interaction of physics and light scattering that affects the color of the sun. Though the marginal effects of smoke, dust, and pollution make the sun appear yellow most of the time. This is why the sun doesn't appear to be a white star to the naked eye, even though that is the natural state of our nearest stellar neighbor. The light emitted by the sun that we can see is only a tiny part of the huge electromagnetic spectrum. This electromagnetic spectrum consists of a wide range of different waves, ranging from gamma rays to radio waves. Visible light lies somewhere in the middle and is only a tiny part of the entire spectrum. The entire spectrum of visible light emitted by the sun can best be seen through a prism. With a prism, sunlight can be broken down into its components, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. These colors from red to violet are abbreviated as Roy G. Biv. If all these colors are combined, it forms a white color, which is the real color of the sun. The reason the sun appears yellow to us is the Earth's atmosphere. When sunlight hits atmospheric particles, it causes electrons and protons to vibrate rapidly, generating radiation at the same frequency as the incident light, but emitting it in all directions. This process of redirecting sunlight is called scattering. The Earth's atmosphere scatters away light in the blue, indigo, and violet wavelength region more powerfully, while higher wavelength colors, like red, orange, and yellow, are scattered less easily. Due to this uneven level of scattering, the sun looks yellow to our eyes. This is also why the sky appears blue during the day, as the blue wavelength is the most readily scattered color in the visible light spectrum. Some of you may be wondering whether the color of the sun makes any real difference. Well, the color of the sun is actually quite significant for astrophysicists. A technique called spectroscopy is used to split and observe the spectrum of light coming from a given star. Splitting can give clues about the characteristics of the star from which the light is emitted. It can help astronomers estimate if a star is made of heavier elements or lighter elements and may help determine its age and behavioral patterns. Color also helps scientists estimate the temperature of a star. Contrary to what you may expect, cooler stars are actually colored red. Betelgeuse is a relatively cool star at about 3500 degrees Kelvin and has a decidedly reddish color. Hotter stars, such as Regal, with a temperature above 10,000 degrees Kelvin, appear blue. Our sun has an estimated temperature of 5,800 degrees Kelvin, giving it a white color, even though our Earth-bound eyes would never see it as white. In fact, astronomers even artificially alter images of our white sun to make it appear more natural. For eons, humans lived under the idea that the sun was yellow, but that's simply not the case. It's just a trick pulled off by light scattering, physics, and the state of our planet's atmosphere.